179. If the Earth were constantly spinning eastward a thousand miles per hour, then airplane flight durations going eastward versus westwards should be significantly different. If the average commercial airliner travels 500 miles per hour, it follows that westbound equatorial flights should reach their destination at approximately thrice the speed as their eastbound return flights. In reality, however, the differences in east and westbound flight durations usually amount to a matter of minutes, and nothing near what would occur on a thousand mile per hour spinning ball earth. 180. The spinning ball model dictates that the Earth and atmosphere would be moving together at approximately 500 miles per hour at the mid-latitudes where LA to New York City flights take place. The average commercial airliner traveling 500 miles per hour takes five and a half hours traveling east with the alleged rotation of the Earth, so the return flight west should take only 2.75 hours. But in fact, we find that the average New York to LA flight takes six hours, a flight time totally inconsistent with the spinning ball model. 181. Flights eastwards with the alleged spin of the ball Earth from Tokyo to LA take an average of 10.5 hours. Therefore, the return flights westwards against the alleged spin should take an average of 5.25 hours, but in actual fact, take an average of 11.5 hours, another flight time totally inconsistent with the spinning ball model. 182. Flights eastward with the alleged spin of the ball Earth from New York to London take an average of 7 hours. Therefore, the return flights westwards against the alleged spin should take an average of three and a half hours, but in actual fact, take an average of seven and a half hours, a flight time totally inconsistent with the spinning ball model. 183. Flights eastward from Chicago to Boston with the alleged spin of the ball earth take an average of two and a quarter hours. Therefore, the return flights westwards against the alleged spin should take an average of just over an hour but in actual fact, take an average of two and three quarters hours. Once again, completely inconsistent with the spinning ball model. 184. Flights eastward from Paris to Rome with the alleged spin of the ball earth take an average of two hours. Therefore, the return flights westward against the alleged spin should take an average of one hour, but in actual fact, have an average flight duration of two hours and ten minutes. A flight time totally inconsistent with the spinning ball model.